get into the substance of what I want to tell you today and go back to when I was in Rome just a couple of weeks ago, because of the many things that Priests for Life does uh, at the Vatican in conjunction with various offices over there, I've had the opportunity, uh, and this uh, two weeks ago was actually the fifth time that I had the privilege of meeting Pope Francis and conversing with him a little bit and updating him about our pro-life work. And I want to tell you today, in an expanded version, what I told him uh, just a matter of days ago. And this was just a few days also, of course I didn't know it at the, at the time, that he, would, that he before he announced this great jubilee year of mercy that is going to begin at the end of 2015. I showed the Pope a picture that we took in January in Washington, D.C. Many of you were at the March for Life, I know, uh, and, and many of you have gone in, in previous years as well. Uh, here's what we did. Every year at the end of the march, we have a gathering in front of the steps of the Supreme Court, and for about three hours, we listen to mercy. We listen to the testimonies of those who have had abortions and have repented, and have turned to the Lord and have experienced His grace and forgiveness. And the reason they want to share their testimonies is obvious. They want to reach other people before they make the same mistake. And they want to reach people who have made the same mistake to let them know there's hope. To let them know there's forgiveness. And this is part of the new evangelization. This is, is taking a tragedy of our times and turning it around and making it a testimony of God's goodness. Because if someone can stand on a public sidewalk and say, I had an abortion, I had two abortions, I had five, I had ten. We've even ministered to people who have had as many as 25 abortions. And they stand up and they proclaim that they are forgiven. If somebody does that publicly, do you not think that there's going to be somebody else listening to them who's going to say, well, I was never involved in abortion, but you know what, I have some pretty bad sins myself. But if that person could find mercy, baby, there's hope for me. This is evangelization. The announcement of the good news that the doors are open. We're not here to reject or condemn you. We want to welcome you back. And we say that to those who have had abortions, and we say that to those who have committed any other sin as well. Come back. 